Example four, determine whether the functions are inverses. A, f of x is equal to x plus six divided by two, and g of x is equal to two times the quantity x minus six. Now, in order to determine whether or not two functions are inverses of one another, we are supposed to find f of g of x, and we are supposed to find g of f of x, and if both of those simplify down into x, everything else cancels out, then we'll know that these two functions are actually inverses of one another. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find f of g of x. All right, now my f function is x plus 6 divided by 2, but I am going to take out that x and I am going to replace it with the g function so that it looks like 2 times the quantity x minus 6, this is my g function, and then plus 6 divided by 2. All right, and now I will distribute the 2 into the parentheses. This is going to give me 2x minus 12 plus 6 divided by 2. And then we combine like terms, we get 2x minus 6 divided by 2. And since I can factor a 2 out of the top and be left with x minus 3, that means that my 2's are going to cancel each other out. So this function reduces to x minus 3. So f of g of x is equal to x minus 3. And there is no point in me even doing the substitution f of x into g of x because this function composition did not simplify into x with everything else canceled out. So that means for a, these two are not inverses. All right, for part b, we have the function m of x is equal to 5 over x minus 2, and n of x is equal to 2x plus 5 divided by x. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find out what m of n of x is equal to. Now my m function is 5 divided by x minus 2, but since I'm substituting my n function in there, I'm going to take this x out and I'm going to replace it with n of x right here. Now this is going to give me 5 divided by my n function is 2x plus 5 divided by x, and then we're going to have that minus 2 out there from right here. All right, now we've got a fraction that has another fraction on the inside here. So let's multiply this by the least common denominator x. So I'm going to multiply by x on the top, and I'm going to multiply by x on the denominator here. This is going to give me 5x on the top. On the bottom, this x will cancel out with this one and leave me with the 2x plus 5. And then this x times that negative 2 is going to give me a negative 2x. When I add the like terms in the denominator, it looks like the 2x's are going to cancel each other out. This is going to leave me with 5x divided by 5 and now it looks like my fraction can be reduced here. So m of n of x simplifies to x. So that's half the battle. Now we have to figure out if n of m of x also simplifies to x. Because if they do, then we have inverse functions. All right, so let's see. n of m of x means I'm going to take my n function, which is 2x plus 5 divided by x, 
And I am supposed to take out all of my X's and replace them with M of X's. Okay. All right, this is going to give me two times my M function, which was 5 over X minus 2 plus 5 over 5 over x minus 2. Right. If we go ahead and multiply this 2 times the fraction here, this is going to give us 10 over x minus 2 plus 5 over 5 over x minus 2. And once again, I notice that I have one big fraction that has smaller fractions on the inside. So I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by that LCD, which is going to be x minus 2. And what's going to happen is the x minus 2 is going to cancel with this one right here and leave me with just the 10. And then I have to remember that the x minus 2 has to be multiplied by that 5 also. So we've got 5 times x minus 2. In the denominator, the x minus 2's are going to cancel and leave me with just a 5. So this means when we distribute the 5 into the parentheses, we're going to have 10 times, I'm sorry, 10 plus 5x minus 10 over 5. And when I add the like terms in the numerator, the 10s are going to cancel. So we're left with 5x divided by 5. This fraction will reduce, and we're left with x. So since both of my compositions simplified down into x, we can say yes, these two functions are in fact inverses of one another.